Yo, what's up, you guys? It's your boy. How you doing? How you doing? Let me sit down. Let me sit down. Let me sit down. I know I got a Santa hat on. You know what I'm saying? Your boy got a Santa hat on. Um, I, I can't really see y'all out of this, but hey, we're making do with what we got. But today, we got a video, and I have an announcement. I have two announcements today. Is one. I'm going to be doing a giveaway for Christmas. We'll be doing a giveaway on Christmas. I uh, don't know what yet, but that's all I'm saying is we're going to be doing a giveaway on Christmas. I don't know what yet, but we're just saying that we're going to be doing a Christmas giveaway. And I have a second announcement. And this is going to be something you're going to be seeing me do and have in all my videos. Please, uh, editor me, do a dramatic um, edit, please. Yo, you look like a nerd. I do, okay? I actually do. I look like a nerd. I can... Hey, hold on. I look good. Hold on. Guys, give me the photo shoot. Just let me get that. Stop it. Get some help. Hey, you wanna... Hey. 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 Okay, I'll stop. I'll stop. People were telling me I look like Clark Kent. I, I look weird, okay? I look weird with the Santa hat and glasses on. I look like um that kid from Page Master, if y'all know what, what I'm talking about. Macaulay Clark from Page Master. That's what I think I look like. But this is something that I'm going to be having during all my videos and for a long time because I have been suffering for a long time um, without glasses. And I did not know that. And I have been suffering for years. The doctor even told me. So guys, let's get into the video. The video today is going to be, we're going to be going into the world of ASMR. Now you guys don't know what ASMR is. You obviously have been living underneath the rock. ASMR is a category on YouTube where people help other people to sleep. Okay? So there's people on YouTube that you know, make noises, have triggers and stuff like that. But if you don't know what ASMR means, it means, it means autonomous sensory mandatory response. Man, uh, man, okay, I don't know if I'm saying it right, but it's a response in your body that helps you um, have this tingly sensation and also to helps you sleep. Now, there's a lot of people that say, that it's sexual it's it's meant to be sexual but i have been listening to asmr listen hold on i've been listening to asmr for like a year now and i have watched a lot of great asmr people and i have and i'm not going to be making a video on something that i've never used before because it does not make any sense but we're going to be going and we're going to be reacting to great asmrs and the worst asmrs or creepy asmrs because let's be honest there's a lot of weird in every category, uh, like every topic in the world. There's always the normal and then there's the weird kind. OK, so let's get into people and YouTubers that I like to watch personally, but old videos or videos I've never seen before. So the next one. So the first video we have today is going to be from the ASMR artist Carl ASMR. I found this dude in his uh, psycho series. Um, I don't know what it is. I didn't watch it when I go to bed, obviously, because, you know, that's a little scary. But I found him when I started, like, falling asleep to his videos. It was that uh, Miles Morales roleplay and this one. But this one didn't help me go to sleep. It actually made me start laughing. It's called Welcome to the Riz Academy. Um, you know, a relationship coach uh, roleplay. So let's just get into it and let's just watch it. You know what I mean? Welcome to Riz Academy. Yo. <laughs> Yo, just because the audio is low, bro, it's, I'm not gonna lie, it's freaking hilarious. It's, when I first saw this video, I was dying. I was, I, I had my headphones on. I had my headphones on. I'll never forget it. I was in my bed. My headphones on, full way. And all I heard was, welcome to the Riz Academy. And for no reason, I just started laughing for no reason. Because it was just unexpected. 
But yo, those photos though, hey. I'm your host, or professor. Risen. Risen, so, bro. You came here and enrolled in my course. Yeah, Because you want to learn how to Riz. So here's where I come in. This course is here to fulfill all your needs when it comes to Rizzing someone up. Okay. And getting anything you need from that scenario, right? Let's say you want to Riz up your teacher so you can get an A+. Okay. You want to Riz up your boss so you get a promotion. That right there is called surface level transparent Riz. Because yeah. it's something you could just see right through. You know, it's not one of the most hardened things ever. That's just when you want to get something. You know, I don't judge. We all got to look, look. It's life. Life is roadblocks. And he had the throw. I'm sorry. He, I'm sorry for a pause, but he had the... I'm sorry. That's what made it also another thing was funny. He just he just threw in a, a DJ Cali quote, bro. Keep that in mind. Oh, the other that. types of Riz come in five levels. You got one. Your basic Riz. Mm-hmm. Two, you get in the foot in the door type Riz. Okay. Number three, all right, I think I'm getting used to this Riz. Okay. Number four, this ain't nothing new. I've been doing this for a minute, Riz. And we got five, the Rizard of Oz. The Rizard of Oz. Where you're a max level prestige Rizologist, Rizzler, oh. yes, Rizzard, sir. a Rizzle path, anything you want to look. And, okay. We got number one here. The basic Riz, the number one Riz. It's, this is the kindergarten Riz, okay? Okay. Because it's remedial. So these are the types of Riz scenarios and sentences and phrases that you just look up on the fly. You know, so something you look up, you, you might already. Yeah, so, so you guys get it. The Riz Academy. This guy is really cool. I, I follow him on Instagram. Yo, Carl, if you see this, bro, I love your ASMR. But. You know, we have three more to go. Well, there's a couple more. To, I have a lot of ASMR artists I listen to, but, you know, we can't cover them in this video. But, you know, let me go and show you my second one. And, um, see you, Carl. Let's go. Now, the next one we have on the list is ASMR Darling. Now, ASMR Darling, I have been listening to for within that year I've been listening to. But the one video that I found her from was... On this video right here, ASMR Darling, ASMR Modern Video Game Store Roleplay. Now, I'm a big game nerd, okay? Now, and I've always wanted to work at a GameStop, okay? Um, and this video is just her going through, um, her favorite, you know, game consoles and stuff like that. And, you know, stuff like that. You know what I mean? And it's really cool. So, let's just watch maybe a one minute of this and then we'll go to the next one. It's just so cool how like she goes through the whole like all her games that she loves and her opinions and stuff like that, you know. Now this is where she had me. This is where I had to subscribe to her. Uncharted masterpiece game. Okay. Now if she if she said that she loves Uncharted. I say I like Uncharted. Yeah, that brother's starving. <laughs> because at the time last, at the time that I started watching ASMR, I just kept finished um, doing the Uncharted 4 game, and I just fell in love with it, bro. So I was, I was really on her side about it. Okay, guys, you know, it's getting a little late, you know, me edit, um, editor me is not going to want to edit this, but so we're skipping past. So, you know, ASR darling, I love your videos. If you see this video, hey, maybe one day I would love to, you know, to collab with you and you too, uh, Carl ASMR. Maybe I would like to, I would love to collab with you, bro. But anyway, this is called killing you softly ASMR jeff the killer asmr now this goes in our category of weird asmr now this is not asmrs that you know i listen to okay i don't listen to people killing me okay that just gives me nightmares okay and i am a horror guy that's what our channel is based on but when i go to sleep i don't want people like killing me okay you feel me 
So this is Jeff the Killer softly killing me. Bro, look at all them weapons, bro. Ooh, that that actually scared me. I'm not gonna lie. Hold on. I don't got no audio. Dang, dang. Aggressive with it, though. Dang. Oh, just saran wrapping your head. Oh, and, and another thing. And another thing is, is if you don't know who Jeff the Killer is, you obviously weren't around the great creepypasta era of, I think, 2015, 2014. That's when, like, Slender Man, Jeff the Killer, the creepy dog face, me, uh, you know, creepypastas came out. The golden ages of, of horror. You know what I mean? Dang, he punching now? Dang, what the... The bro just takes stuffing out your. Oh, yo, I ain't gonna lie. I, I start. I'm starting to feel like he's stabbing me. Oh my god, I ain't gonna lie. Ooh, you know what I mean? I would see. This is why I wouldn't like. Maybe to some people they would fall asleep to this, but like me personally, nah, not for me. Cause I'm sorry. Man, he aggressive. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, bro. Where I hope the camera's okay. My my point in question is I hope the camera's okay. Oh. 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 Bro, hold on. Let me skip to another weapon. Like, hold on. This bro probably gonna He's still doing a He's still doing the machete in like two minutes. He's still doing the machete. I thought he had multiple weapons. Oh there we go. Oh bro. Bro, listen, if y'all into this, y'all gave him 145,000 views for that, bro. And the top comment, there is no comments. Comments are off. He is, bro, he is crazy for this. Yo, he crazy. So the last video for tonight is going to be Serial Killer. Vic, uh, serial killer victim role play. Um, you know, it and you know, this got 4.5 million views. Um, and I'm guessing you guys, you freaks out there, listen, if you guys are out here listening, giving this man. 400 and I respect his grind like listen I respect your grind but like y'all are really creepy to be listening to this when you go into bed okay or just to relax yourself you you you've got to be a psycho yourself oh. hi there I hope you're comfortable but I guess in your case comfortably Tied up. If you don't mind, I'm gonna sort of tidy up a little bit. Gotta get this lint off. Mm. There's something lovely about being clean before the kill, but no, no, he Patrick Bateman, bro. He Patrick Bateman. There ain't no way. There ain't no way. He kind of look like Johnny Depp. Okay, y'all comment down below if he if he looked like Johnny Depp. I don't expect you to understand. He, but not the, you know, older Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp, if you see this, I'm sorry. I'm not calling you old, kind of, but I'm not really. But like the younger, younger Johnny Depp. Roll up the sleeves here. It's interesting because I feel like I know everything about you, but you don't know anything about me. It's a very interesting situation. Today's hmm. your lucky day. We have a various selection of tools that we're going to use today. Now, I've always wanted to use the corkscrew. I feel like this would go really well in the eye socket. Yeah, listen, I got my brand new eyes. You feel me? I can read perfectly now, and he's talking about, you know, sucking your eyes out, pause, sucking your eyes out with a with a corkscrew. Oh, nah, I, I can't. Like, I don't want to wear these glasses no more, okay? Um, additionally, a little serrated edge mm. 
right here. I'm gonna try and be quick as I have some videotapes no, to return. Wait, what did he say? Hold on, go back. Go back. What did he say? Yeah. Little serrated edge. Right here. I'm gonna try and be quick as I have some videotapes to return. American Psycho quote right there. I knew he was doing something with American Psycho. Listen, if you don't know what American Psycho is, if if you're under the age of maybe ten or sixteen, don't watch it because it's kinda inappropriate. But like if you're old enough and you know what uh you know Pat who Patrick Bateman really is besides you know all the edits on YouTube and the Sigma edit and you know fan edits and stuff like that if you know who back Patrick Bateman is you know exactly why he says that okay now this blade can you hear how sharp the edge is listen to that now that just doesn't cut that cuts magnificently mm. Might cut through some muscle and tendons if we're lucky. I like to use this to cut my favorite type of potatoes, russet potatoes. They're great for stir fry and hash browns. Okay. Next, speaking of potatoes, I have a little uh, unorthodox potato cleaner with a serrated edge. Okay. I've always wondered what it would be like to just kind of peel off somebody's skin as if it was a potato. Ah. Ah. Uh. I'm about to go to bed too. I'm not really one to talk. Ugh. Ugh. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you guys made it to the end of the video, please leave a like and subscribe to join the family, to join the channel here on YouTube. And if you like my new look, if you guys like my new uh, look, like hit that, you know, hit the, you know what I'm saying? Hit that, uh, you know what I'm saying? Stop it. Get some help. Hit that. You know what I'm saying? Hit that. Okay, I'll stop. Okay, I'll stop. I'll stop. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.